All right. That's that, that'll do it. That'll conclude our baseball talk for today's show. But as we enter and, and segue into this final segment, segue into the segment here on Behind the Pen, we're going to talk about something that really is out of the typical conversation that we have mm-hmm. here on Behind we, the we Pen. We got a Rankins Rankins. Oh, here we go. <laughs> it's a thing now. Here we go. It's a thing. Uh, let's uh, rank in. Let's rank the Hall of Fame list. All of them right now. Ricky, go. Kidding. We brought up this conversation. Oh, we up this I was, conversation. About, to, I was says, about to try. He was ready. He was ready. He's <laughs> yeah. like, all right, we're starting at one. It's easy. I'll work my way back. <laughs> so, Ricky, you you, uh, mm-hmm. you you mentioned that the the Wolves might buy well, out KG. They're, right now, it looks like the Wolves are going to buy out KG and with one year left on his contract. And if they buy him out, it looks like KG is just going to retire. He's not going to go and play anywhere else. And today, this morning, as I woke up for work early and couldn't go back to sleep, um, Mike and Mike was on the TV, and they were discussing that, oh, by this chance, we would have a 2020 first inductee Hall of Fame class of Kobe Bryant, Timmy D, and KG. And that kind of sparked the conversation for them. Would this be, like, the greatest Hall of Fame class of all time, like just as a trio, not like oh, this one guy kind of stole the show. And so, who who would be against like that that class? To me, they the three that they mentioned that had the most like that ho- held the most water was I'm just gonna hit the home run right out of the bat. The 2009 one because yep. you had MJ Stockton and then David Robinson, the Admiral. Absolutely. However, the other two that. Kind of, one of them is I didn't watch this era of basketball, so I couldn't as myself weigh in on it. You had Oscar Robinson, the logo, and then Jerry Lucas. And then the other one that they mentioned was the 2008 draft class that, yes, did have Adrian Dantley as your last one, but it also had Ewing and Elijah Wan. Oh, that's hard so to beat. The dream? The 2000, wow. 2008 with Ewing, Dang. Elijah Wan, and then Dantley. But then Jordan Stockton and David Robinson. I mean, true. This, this seems like it comes down to who's the weakest third man between That's Robinson, uh, Lucas, and uh, Dantley. Dantley. And I'm think sorry. K, I think KG beats it. And KG what? would be the third. Ooh. What? KG would be the third. Unfortunately for you, and that <laughs> one pairing, you have Michael Jordan. That's a thing. That's a thing. I, I thought we were just talking though, like oh, I know. out of the threes. Look, look. Out, out of, of the like, threes, out of Lucas Dantley and no disrespect the to those two. I love the Admiral. I would put him Here, and KG in similar standing. I'm gonna men- I'm gonna mention this though because this is what they mentioned on Mike and Mike with the Admiral. Could you make the point? Could you make the point that the first championship he won with Timmy D, it was the Admiral's team. But by the time they won that second championship, was it then Timmy D's team and the Admiral was phasing out from it being my team in San, in, uh, San Antonio? I don't know, man. I think, well, without Tim Duncan, they don't win all their championships. Cause, well, because the, fir- the first championship with the Admiral was Timmy D was the rookie. Yep. But you got to that second one with him. It, Timmy D wasn't that rookie anymore, and he was kind of becoming the hey, this is the kid that's going to take our team to yeah. What do you win? Five more or uh, four more titles? Yeah, yeah. Him and Kobe alone have five titles together. See, and that might be the ultimate trump card because, like you said, Dave, as yep. we were talking pre podcast, the thing, the knock against Stockton. It's great that you're the don't uh, mean a thing if you ain't got that it's rank. It's great that you're the. A leading a sister and the most stereotypical uh, point guard for just what a point guard should be, but you don't have the rings. Good thing Mike's got you covered. <laughs> Mike and the Admiral yeah. got you covered. I say, look, I mean, even just purely stats, David Robinson put up 21, 10 and a half, and two and a half versus Kevin Garnett, excluding his appearances last year, mm-hmm. 17.8, 10, and three and a half. I'm sorry. Uh, he was on better teams consistently throughout his entire career. I just I give the credit to Robinson. Yeah, the man that's a was good point. a staple. He did it quietly and like KG. Look, KG, I had the biggest hype for when he hit uh, the Celtics. Like him and Boston, they had you know the three best player, three of the best players in the league at the time gathered together. Mm-hmm. It was that initial like coming together, yep. and look that that was fantastic to watch, but. 
again, you can make that argument. Well, was he really the guy who drove home the championship? He was huge. He was huge for that team. I'm not taking anything away, but I just I, I'm leaning the Admiral all the time. Well, I, I'm trying to make a case for him. E- I can't. Not even the hype that you say for his Boston days. How about when he came into the league? One of those guys that he transferred to a high school in Chicago just to play one year in Chicago and then go straight to the NBA. Yep. Where he just fucking had a great, I'm going to say a great career. And the kind of thing I, when I was thinking about, when you look at the possible 2020 class we have of Kobe, KG, and Timmy D, it's kind of like maybe because I'm the college guy, I looked at it and went, holy shit, this is like the kind of, both sides to that one and done conversation that we keep having every single college basketball season. Mm-hmm. Yep. You have two guys in there that came out of high school and yes, they were, you have one that's probably the s- closest thing. Yeah. I'm going to say it. LeBron fans eat it. The closest thing we're ever going to almost get to Michael Jordan. Cause we're never going to get an exact replica to oh. Michael Jordan, but KG was still really good coming out of high school. Yeah. And then you had a guy like Timmy D who stayed all four years at Wake Forest. At Wake fucking Forest. Man, we're getting old, aren't we? I know. We are getting old. These are guys that we grew up watching mm-hmm. through our youth. Yeah, mm-hmm. I was going to say, uh, David Robinson started in 89-90 season. I mean, come on. That, that feels bad. But again, he started at age 24. Well, you said Kim Garnett came right out of high school. Mm-hmm. I mean, as a 19-year-old starting in the league, I mean, he definitely logged more games. Respect for that, but even at highest of highs, Dave Robinson's best season, he averaged twenty nine point eight points a game. So, Dave, are you are you putting them ahead I, of KG? I, look, I have him ahead of I have him out of that, but even as far as like the best third man, I still have Dave Robinson better than Kevin Garnett. I respect Kevin Garnett's done it for a long time. He's a great player, but it's just. Admiral wins every argument I want to make. <laughs> Everything that makes sense to me, and it's not for everybody. Well, it's, this is just my opinion. It's weird because. The way I'm kind of looking at it, and this is my A, Bulls bias, and B, Michael Jordan is the greatest fucking player yeah. to ever play. It's hard, it's hard to imagine I, yeah. Michael I'm, Jordan. I'm going yeah. to sit here and say KG and the Admiral is a tough decision, but I might side with KG. But when we talk in best draft the class, class, fucking Michael Jordan, you win. Yeah, it's Fucking hard. Michael it's... Jordan, you win. Never lost in a finals. Greatest player yep. to ever play the game, you win. Yep, yeah. I think those are Andy. <laughs> Andy, total had, bonus Andy had a guy who not only led the assist leader. Yeah, you can say he didn't win rings in John Stockton. Yep. You want to know why he didn't win the ring? Because the guy he went into the Hall of Fame with won the rings, took him from him. Very true. Yeah, I mean like, John Stockton was like the prototypical point guard. Like, I mean, he just he did everything they needed him to in Utah, and you feel for him because he didn't win that ring. But like you said. Look, there's a reason why. He's so we, up against the best. We had this conversation, and really, we don't even know if it's going to happen because mm-hmm. the Timberwolves Assuming might. Assuming the Timberwolves. Right. I mean, look, KG's probably going to like sign as a coach. That was, it, yeah. He was a player coach effectively last year. So. Right, true, true, true. I'm going to throw this out there, though. So we're all three of us are in agreement that the 2009 draft class would be better than yeah. the 2020. It, it's bad because I love Kobe. But the one thing I want to throw out there is... I know this may sound stupid, but I'm going to throw it out there <laughs> Ricky, anyways. Not going to surprise anybody uh, out here. Ricky saying something stupid. Can what? we can we then make a case for the 2008 class, or does Adrian Dantley totally kill that conversation between 2020 and 2008? Do Ewing and Olajuwon I... hold enough water? Well, you talk uh, about Olajuwon and the stuff he was able to do. I mean, but, he carries enough weight to support. And think. But then Kobe. here's the important but thing Kobe. that you got to think about. Kobe. It's not just the NBA Hall of Fame. It's the basketball Hall of Fame because you can even go. You can even go back and look at Halajuan's time with Five Slamma Jamma. That Ugh. that can play into it too when he was at Houston. That wasn't necessarily ne- super stupid. I mean, that was kind of a yeah. I mean, no, I mean, <laughs> my my whole thing was the. I'm impressed question. with your gold star. Yeah, yeah, I, I was more saying the putting one <laughs> against the other because I kind of in my head want to go. No, you're a fucking idiot. 2020 because of Kobe. Well, you're talking to yourself again, Ricky. Yeah, I we know. Gotta get that's you some what help. I do sometimes. <laughs> <laughs> it's one of those it's, it's just so lonely sometimes. I guys. feel you. Yeah, I'm with you, man. That's why I don't talk to a mic for a living. I don't got enough commenters to talk to, so talk to me in the comments. Section. Oh God, Dave, <laughs> don't, Ricky, don't egg him on. It has been an absolute pleasure. I hope to do this again with you, answer, you Dave, specifically. Did you guys answer oh, yeah. the question, though? 2020 or 2008? I got 2020. I thought we, we established... Well, 
the it's, 20, it's 2009, 2009 class beats 2020, 2020 yeah, but, and then, and then but for yeah. second, who would win second? The Michael Ewing Jordan. Halajuan class? Michael Jordan. Or the, Michael Jordan's still in second <laughs> and first place. He, he, he just, takes, he all just the takes them all. No, but seriously, the KG, uh, Kobe, Duncan class? No, I'd probably, class, I'd probably they, go Kobe, Duncan, KG. Yeah. Okay. I that's mean, what, look, That's what I would go I to. Only, only caught, because of Dantley. I and Dantley, that's not a knock against him, but it's just the other three are so good. Yeah, I know. Yeah. Elijah want to change the game, you know? So he did. Well, and I know there's a lot of 80s basketball fans. I think the fans problem is the fact are, we missed out on a lot of the yeah. 80s. Mm-hmm. They're saying, get, off, all get off my lawn, kid. Well, it's one of those Robinson things. We grew up watching the these guys actually play, like, yeah. win championships. It makes we a saw. Mm-hmm. Right, exactly. and, that, and that's why it's insulting for, to, for us, you know, as right. Michael Jordan. Like, that was our youth. Like, that's right. what we saw. When I was and they're coming out and they're like, LeBron James is the greatest. Like, LeBron James is a special athlete who can do things we've never seen before, but he's not the greatest basketball player we've ever seen. You know what kills you even more? When you're teaching a bunch of first graders, you go, oh, yeah, like Michael Jordan. And they all go, who's LeBron Michael Jordan? No, oh, no, they all go, who's Michael Jordan? No, they don't say that. They did. No. An entire first grade Come class on. said to me, who's Michael Jordan? Come on. And you teach in Chicago. I know. I know. All right, let's I end wanted, this podcast. I, huh? we, we had to talk about Michael Jordan in that music class. Did, did you give him a lesson? Because I yeah, hope you I did. Taught the, I hope you just said, he by, shot him the shot on Elo. We're canceling this lesson plan. And we sang only the Bulls. <laughs> oh, my gosh. At least it's not Skull Vikings. No, Thank it you. was a Chicago That's class. When it was a fight. Bulls class. Go Skull <laughs> Vikings honor thy name. <laughs> okay, that's what it was. Whatever. Who cares? Doesn't matter. Oh, hey, Bulls. thank you guys for listening to Behind the Pen. Ricky, Dave, you guys have been awesome. <laughs> 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 I love talking sports with y'all. I love talking sports with y'all. I think, Rankin just, I think you're just like not talking to yourself some weeks. It's it, You know what? Honestly, sometimes it's um, justifiable that I'm here by myself <laughs> because I don't want to listen to you tell yeah, me that I... blame you. Exactly. A lot of the well, time with, with I, color. You don't want to hear me... Tell you how good two and zero feels. Blah 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 blah. Despite despite my knee wah, acting wah, up wah, on me a little wah, bit, wah, 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 wah. might need to get that meniscus. Thanks for having me on, uh, Absolutely, anytime. You want to come by tomorrow? Let's do it. <laughs> <laughs> we'll have a random podcast. Well, hey, no, Sh- Sean's not going to be on the fast break this week, so uh, let's not tell if him. You're free. <laughs> um, what else? Podcast. Uh, subscribe to us. YouTube. Most available podcast, right? Uh, Twitter at most available pod. Patreon. Become a Patreon. Patreon.com backslash most available podcast. The most important one. Please do. Really. We, we value you. We love you. Thank you. Keep commenting. Keep telling me why I'm an idiot. I said the Bears were 10 and 6. We're going to be 10 and 6 this year. Keep telling me I'm an idiot. I love it. I love hearing it because I call myself an idiot every day. Uh, elsewhere, what else? Blog Talk Radio. Check us out. Full length podcast there. I'm Mike Rankin. That's Ricky Widmer. That's Dave Oster. We will see you all next time. Love you, Sean. Thank you for listening to this MVP podcast. Follow us on Twitter at Most Valuable Pod for more great podcasts.